This chart shows the results of an experiment where measurements of a bacteria population density were taken at 16 minute intervals. The numbers on the right give a measurement of the size of the bacteria population. You can see the website for more information on how the bacteria population size was measured. Our goal is to use this data, along with knowledge about how bacteria grow, to develop a mathematical model describing the bacteria population growth. What do we know about how a bacteria population grows? One, cells divide in half. This is fission. Two, each cell takes about the same time to mature and divide. Let's see if we can use these principles, coupled with the data, to develop a mathematical model. Let's start by defining some notation. Let's let t equal the time step in 16 minute intervals, which is the time between the snapshots of our data. So t would be equal to 0 for the first measurement, then 1 after 16 minutes, 2 after 32, 3, etc. What's our state variable? We'll let b sub t equal bacteria density in time interval t. Looking back at our chart, we see this means B0 is 0.022, B1 after 60 minutes is 0.036, B2 is 0 0.060, etc. Let's look at a plot of B sub t versus time step. Clearly the density is increasing faster and faster with time. Dynamics is all about change, so let's focus on how the bacteria population changes over time. What is an expression for the change in the time step? It's just b sub t plus 1 minus b sub t. That's the change from time step t to t plus 1. So for example, in the first time step, if you look at b1 minus b0, well, that's just the difference. It's 0 0.014. And we could continue. B2 minus B0 is equal to 0 0.024. And we could do this for each data point. Here's a chart where, first of all, we've renamed time, not in minutes anymore, but in time steps 0 through 5. And we've calculated the change in the population in each of these time units. Here's a plot that shows the change in the size of the bacteria population in each time step, plotted as a function of the time step. We can see that the change is increasing with time, and in fact it seems as though the change is increasing faster than linearly. See how these points start to curve upward? Okay, how are we going to write down a mathematical model, or a dynamical system model, that captures this data. We want to write a model of the form b sub t plus 1 minus b sub t equals something, right? This is the change. Well, let's go back to what we know about how the bacteria population grows. It grows by cells dividing in half through fission. And we'll assume each cell takes the same amount of time to divide in half. The data that we have gives us the bacteria population every 16 minutes. If it turned out that each cell took 16 minutes to divide, then we would expect that at every time step the population would double. But you can see that the population does not double. We went from 0.022 to 0.036, so up by 0.14. This is less than doubling. So it seems from this data that the the bacteria take longer than 16 minutes to divide, or they take longer than one time step. So a bacteria doubling model isn't going to work here. Well, what's a reasonable assumption? Since the bacteria take longer than one time step to divide, maybe a reasonable assumption is that in one time step, a certain fraction divide. This means that the population size should grow by a certain fraction of the original population size. In other words, this change here should be not exactly equal to the old population size, but proportional to it. 
where C is a parameter that is determined by how fast the bacteria divide in comparison to the time step. So we have a model here for population growth, and we just have one free parameter. Can we determine this from the data? Now here's one thing we could do. We could look at the growth from 0 to 1 and use that to fit a value of C, and then look at the growth from 1 to 2 to fit another value of C, etc. But that's not a very good way of doing it. We want to somehow fit all the data at once to get a single value of C, because again, we imagine that the C is the st same in every time step. We can use sophisticated methods to determine the C or to fit it from the data, but let's just try to do this graphically. What does this equation say? This equation says that the change is a linear function of the population size. See, the change bt plus 1 minus b sub t is proportional to b sub t. If we plot change versus population size, we should get a line, and more than that, we should get a line through the origin. For after all, if this equation is correct, then when b sub t is 0, the change should also be 0. Earlier, we had a plot of population change versus time, but here we replot the data so that we can plot population change now versus the population density. According to our model, this should be a linear relationship that goes through the origin. This looks sort of like a line. Maybe this point here isn't so good, but maybe the model's okay. Maybe we can fit these points with a line through the origin. Here is an applet that will allow us to do just that. The table at the right shows the bacteria data. We have time snapshots 1 through 5, 0 through 5, plus the bacteria population size at those times. We've calculated the change between each time step, and here are the points we're going to plot, which is the population size in the horizontal axis and the change in the vertical axis. These five points are shown right here. We need to fit these points with a line through the origin. This applet forces the line to go through the origin. The only thing we can do is change its slope. So we can try to change the slope until we match all the points. Here's a slope that matches more or less all the points, but it seems like we do even better if we ignore the point over here. If we can just fit the first four points, we can do a really good job. If I put this point at 0 0.15, 0 0.1, the resulting line fits very well the first four points, and its slope is just 0.1 over 0.15, or two-thirds. We can conclude that we can fit this data with a line through the origin with slope two-thirds. The slope of our line is exactly this parameter c. From our fitting of the data, we can conclude that a reasonable value of c is two-thirds. Our resulting dynamical system is that the change, bt plus 1 minus b sub t, is approximately two-thirds times the population size b sub t. We believe this model is a good representation of the bacteria growth, at least for the first four points. The fact that the fifth point was lower than we would have expected it indicates that maybe something is going on after the fifth time point that isn't well captured by this model. But that's something we can worry about another day.